I was also fortunate that in Pune at that time there was uh, two. I think at that time it was very small. There were maybe two or three other families who were also uh, not sending their children to school. Uh, there mm-hmm. were unschoolers, um, home learners, different uh, things. So I talked to them about my questions, and I know after that uh, we three of us actually got together and formed a core group. of puna homeschoolers which grew in no time and some years back um, we established a, a, a swa shikshan and your listeners those who are interested can google this and find it uh, so a group of uh, homeschoolers across india formed some a website called swa shikshan where we share information share journey share things and uh, once i took the decision to, to take them out from school it was not just me uh that decision had to come from my children also so we took a year of struggling where i knew that i want that we could do this uh but they needed to be also sure and they were about like i said 10 12 years old so i needed them to be on board it had to be kind of a joint decision and then all three of us decided that we are getting out of school and after that like our journey has been like amazing i i call it what i would call home learning because my own learning expanded like mad after we got out of school we took some time to go through what i would call a transition phase in which uh we sort of tried to unlearn uh the, the that you know that default settings which are implanted in us now they are really strong so it takes time to unplug from that uh unplug from it unplug from it psychologically so you're not constantly thinking in the same way either you start uh, your perspective has to change as well so we took some time to do that and uh, then we sort of came to the conclusion that the main thing we have to uh, focus on is intuition because uh, one of the things that i found that schooling damages or rather disassociates humanity in through schooling is it disassociates us from our intuition and uh, nature it disassociates us from everything in nature it 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 kind of creates a disassociation a disassociation between us and how we were supposed to be in nature so for i mean to give you simple examples uh, we were designed in nature uh, to have a very strong sense of um, mm, uh, self protection we are designed to be uh, to be able to uh, uh, use our instincts to safeguard ourselves uh, we are designed to be physically active and that's a part of this process so all these things if you look at how school uh takes you like school forces children who should be running around all the time that they're awake and burning up their energy and getting recharged also and using motor skills and all that and if you look at school what it does is it forces you to sit for starting with 4 to 5 hours to you know you're sitting for 8 to 9 hours or more by the time you're a teenager getting out of school and so you know it's easier to talk about something physical that we can see and you can see this when you try to get children to sit for four to five you know 3 4 hours they rebel against it they misbehave because that is they're still close to nature at that time and their their nature is telling them that this is wrong this is they're not supposed to be doing that they're supposed to be exercising their motor skills and then you know so then we start to start forcing them and we start doing things so that process is the one that kind of uh forces children to stop listening to their intuition because their intuition is telling them to get up and move and and then there's a authority there's somewhat something there's an authoritarian voice from the outside whether it's parents or whether it's the school system or society telling them to stay still and stay in one place and stay put and listen and at some point that authoritarian voice manages to break them down and forget that inner child forget that intuition which was that instinct which was telling them how to uh, be healthy and how to be in nature 
So, and, and this applies to almost everything that in school, the, the, this physical thing is something that we can see in front of us, and, but imagine that that is what is happening inside our mind and what kind of damage it is doing to us, how it is indoctrinating us to uh, listen to the voice of authority. And, you know, in the last two years, for those of us who woken up to what has been going on around the world, uh, for those of us who are already aware that the voice of authority has, is the voice to question, uh, you can see how deeply this indoctrination has, uh, uh, you know, how, how deep this indoctrination is that people are unable, unable to question what authority tells them. They just need it to be told to them from yeah. the voices that they believe are supposed to be telling them this. And, you know, that's all they need. And then there's no argument. There's no rational, no logic. Things can be happening in front of their eyes and they will not accept it because authority has told them exactly. what to do and, yeah. how, and how to think, you know.